This market is expected to reach $100 trillion by the time the 30 to 32 cycle is about to come to a conclusion, according to the prior thesis, which states that it will go from $2.7 trillion or $12 trillion this cycle. Wow, to say the least. With that being said, I believe that we are currently witnessing the most rapid accumulation of wealth in the entirety of human history. The total value of the cryptocurrency market is anticipated to reach $100 trillion by the end of the year 2032, as stated by Raoul Pal. I am aware that this seems crazy, but when you give it some serious thought, you will realize that it is not nearly as absurd as it initially appears to be. According to statements made by officials of Ripple during this interview, individuals have a tendency to overestimate the short term while underestimating the long term. Pay close attention to this. We are, so to speak, in the very early innings, and yes, I would say that we are experiencing growth at this point. Consider the stablecoin as an example of a financial asset, for instance. The total market cap of the stablecoin was approximately $5 billion three dollars years ago, but it is currently somewhere over $150 billion. I'm sure you've heard this before, but people have a tendency to overestimate these kinds of dynamics, perhaps in the near term, but then underestimate them in the long run. This is an insight that someone who is significantly more intelligent than I am has probably already heard. See, this is what it boils down to. Since the quantity of money that will be pumped into cryptocurrency will continue to increase as blockchain technologies are included into the new monetary system, and as cryptocurrency becomes increasingly accepted as a class of assets, as well as the fact that it already is, as Monica Long has demonstrated, Ripple is the company that is at the forefront of this movement. Brazil, which is the president of Ripple, is rapidly becoming a vital cryptocurrency hub. Throughout the world, due to its forward-thinking rules, clear policies, trade fire participation, and a growing developer community. But there is more to it than that. Tranglo, a partner of Ripple Payments, is connecting Malaysia and Singapore in real-time transactions using XRP as the settlement mechanism, QR. This information comes from Chad Steen Rubber. Citibank and HSBC are the two most prominent financial institutions. Other major financial institutions include JP Morgan, DBS, Standard Chartered, Bank of India, and Bank of China. All of these financial institutions are partners of Ripple and also connect to the Frix Nation, which is very encouraging news. However, the real-time settlements using XRP are the topic that I would want to emphasize here. Settlements made on the same day, also referred to as T plus zero. On May 28th, as we can see from Chad here once more, the whole financial system in the United States shifted to T plus one settlements, which makes use of distributed ledger technology DLT and next day settlements. This transition is scheduled to take place this year in just a little over a month from now. Additionally, this serves as the test bed prior to transitioning to a completely real time market that utilizes T plus zero settlement. As of right now, there are significant advances taking place all over the world, with countries making the transition to T plus one, with the expectation of going to T plus zero very shortly afterward. From the dips of XRP, we can see that many people have already made this transition or will make it very soon afterward. The United States of America and Mexico made this transition on the 28th of May of this year, which is a little more than a month from now. T plus one, or more crucially, T plus zero will become a global standard. This means that if financial institutions, enterprises, and other organizations do not operate in real time and do not engage in same-day settlements, they will cease to exist. In addition, Ripple is the company that is clearing the way for these establishments. And because of these enormous advancements, there will be a significant increase in the amount of money that enters the cryptocurrency market. This is because a greater number of organizations and industries will be utilizing distributed ledger technology, DLT, blockchain technology, and crypto technology in real time which requires more investments. Also, this will release all of the liquidity that has been stowed away in the major banks, which is the Nostra Rostro, which is the problem that XRP is going to fix as well, which is the $27 trillion crisis that the banks are facing. System for the 35 to 50 years to come. Wow. And what it is doing is creating what is known as the liquidity that is required to cover the amount of insurance that is required for transactions. And while it took a week, three days a week, and where it takes Bitcoin like six to eight hours, the transaction between banks using XRP is almost instantaneous, taking only two to four seconds. There is nothing that can compare to it. They also have other individuals who are responsible for the creation of liquidity in various venues. There are three of them. XRP, XLM, and XDC are all cryptocurrencies that do not compete with one another. They collaborate with one another, but they do not infringe upon one another's rights because they each provide a distinct function.